Well, life insurance sales have been on the rise. It isn't something that people necessarily want to talk about, but being prepared with even a small policy may help your family if something were to happen to you. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty joins us now with what you need to know so that your loved ones aren't left asking, where's the money? Yeah, it is a very serious topic, and in some houses, it's a very heavy topic. You might be thinking that COVID is pushing this trend, and that would be partially true, but the truth is life insurance has been trending upward since 1983. When you think about your family, think, what might they do if something were to happen to me? Most of us are aware that life insurance is designed to pay for those final expenses, burial benefits, et cetera, income replacement, education for your children, but not just those of us that have dependents need it. Darren Reeser is with Securian Financial. He says one of the bigger increases in people buying life insurance right now are millennials who are now becoming parents. Life insurance sales have been higher than they'd ever been since 1983. 31% of Americans are going to buy life insurance or likely to buy life insurance in the next 12 months directly due to COVID-19. So I think that's got a lot to do with it. So where do you start if you're younger? Well, your employer is a good first step. Typically, you can get the benefit of one times your salary, but you can add on to that if you want to. It's cheap and you don't normally need a medical exam unless the amount is much higher. So how much do you need? Well, weigh your debt and your family's needs if you're gone. Your debts don't just disappear. If you have co-signed obligations like a car loan, the other person will still be responsible. It's always a good idea to make sure that you leave your primary beneficiary as somebody that's a loved one that you know you can count on in the event that something untimely happens to you, that they'll be able to direct that. So this is what you need to know. Some states have different laws when it comes to debt after you die. So it's a good idea to know what's protected and what's not. These are often some of the questions you should be asking your insurance person when you're buying a life insurance policy. Guys? Always very good information, Bill. Thank you. Let's turn now to your forecast.